Turns out a whole bunch of you want to be in private equity, hedge funds, or investment banking. Well, if I was going about it, this is what I'd do. I'd first Google the best 50 firms to work in, then I'd have a list. This is in alphabetical order. Okay, and let's you go through every single one of those companies, their website, see if they're hiring, and the kind of people they hire. Then I'd go onto LinkedIn to look at some of the people that they've hired in the past. Let's look at Fabio, for instance. By the way, that's Fabio's email address and personal phone number, if you want it. Uh, it's a company called Lusha, L-U-S-H-A, which I'll find those out for you. And look at his experience. Well, he went from University of Cambridge with a Master's in Engineering into Goldman Sachs. There's original. Okay, so you, you might think to yourself, well, everybody I look at Bain seems to have had the same route, and I don't have that. So maybe applying to them will be waste of a second-class stamp. And you move on, and you move on, and you move on. You're basically collecting your data and your intelligence as you would with anything else, and indeed as they'd expect you to do within private equity. The other route is you go to University of Cambridge and get a master's in engineering and become an analyst at Goldman Sachs. My point being that once you've collated the, the information on what people are doing at those firms and the qualifications that they have, go and be like them and get those skills. Uh, the sad thing is I get so many people saying, oh, I've got a degree in hospitality, can I get into private equity? Yes, you just go to the University of Cambridge, get a master's in engineering and become a Goldman Sachs analyst first. Is there another route, a sort of a backdoor? Yeah, human resources. They usually don't require you to have a master's in engineering. And maybe once you get in through the door that way, <clears throat> or in the, uh, I don't know, through the kitchen staff or whatever, that might be a route in. Okay, hopefully you found that helpful.